Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palska International, new artist and educator here. And again, we are going to do my favorite technique, which is one stroke. You can have a, a look what beautiful de designs we are going to create today. So nothing overly too complicated, very quick and easy technique. And uh, I will get you through step by step how to recreate this look. Let's start. Starting with buffing our tip or just like filing the extensions or a natural nails if you're working on the client. And I love like one stroke technique because it's always so beautiful and can be combined with any style, honestly, like with anything. So you definitely will be seeing quite a lot of one stroke on this channel. Uh, I'm just painting this 155 sweet side. That's my favorite color. That's the one I've got it on this finger as well. I definitely love it. And just for a uh, quickness, on the clients I would do two. Uh, on the clients I would do two coats, and um, on the tip I will just do one coat. So I have painted one coat and now I'm just going to grab the glitter. And if you're doing it on the wet gel polish, you have to be very, very careful when dabbing in. So you don't damage this gel polish or you don't transfer it uh, over your brush. Just a very gentle dab dab. And then take a sponge and again, very gentle dab dab to kind of flatten the glitter. Look at the side view, you can see it's sticking out, so by dabbing it, you tend to flatten the glitter a little bit and then pop it into the lamp. Give it a cure. I have actually made a few already to save your time because that's a kind of easy step. So I can take my water, I can take some paints which we are going to use. We're going for a white pink and, and so many different colors. <laughs> yeah, just so we try different things. And then once it's cure, uh, I'm going to apply the top coat over it. Just to seal the glitter and protect the gel polish. Put it inside the lamp. And obviously once it's cure, it's coming out like this. And because this one has cure, I'm just going to take a buffer and buff it. For the acrylic paints, it's better to paint on the buffed surface. And when it comes to the buffing, it is important that we don't use too rough buffer. Because then we create the scratches and the painting isn't as nice. So if you've got like an old used buffer, that's a base buffer for um, for your acrylic painting. And uh, you can also see that if they have been any sticking out glitter, you are nicely smoothing it out so there is no catchy places. Okay, so I'm just quickly buffing this one. It's done. I'm just going to... Do that on this tip as well. I'm placing my glitter kind of random so each tip is slightly different. And here I have sticking out bit, you can see it. So I'm just going to smooth this out. almost ready and then clean the rest okay, now our next step is to squeeze out those acrylic paints and I like to use the baby wipe with it because they've got kind of those twist open tabs so let's do maybe the spray first so you twist to open and then you squeeze out the color you want to use Okay. 
then I'm going to take some white. I'm just giving them a little mix and then just like when closing I'm cleaning the top so it doesn't this one as well old one that's it just give it a wee mix and we can start our painting Actually, I squeeze out the green as well, so we do some leaves. <laughs> and maybe a turquoise. <laughs> They're going to have a full palette of the colors. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we want to start painting the leaves. And now I've got you have seen this brush uh, for a one stroke so it's slightly bigger and then i've got those extremely tiny tiny one and uh, that's a new product which is just coming out now you can see the difference in the size like i mean this is the tiniest brush ever uh, for the one stroke and it's amazing for the detail so i will be working with both of them for the one stroke brush i'm just going to clean it first in the water to kind of soften the bristles and remove the excess of the water. You don't want too much water in there. And now I'm going to pick up my green. Mix that well, dip in in the turquoise, just so the color is even more interesting. You can see we have created absolutely amazing mixture. And we are going to paint like a large leaf. So straight brush, look like straight, don't lie, straight brush. And just going to the top. With the tip of the brush so this way we have created like a wee leaf i'm going to pick up a little bit more of the turquoise and just from the other side again straight i'm just going to give it a little bit more dimension to this leaf by tapping in okay clean your brush and move into the next step. So now we are going to paint the skin. Actually, I need a bit of the brown black. So I've got black. And for the black, I quite like to use the black paint concentrate. Very careful with it because it's like a water. So this is to mix your black paint so it's still really highly pigmented and you can paint really nice and thin lines. Gosh, I'm just going to have all the colors in here. Mom, I need you just a drop, just a drop. Oh, this one is all well overused now. Okay, so in this case, <laughs> I'm just going to go like this because that's all what I need at this point. If your wipe is full of the paints, just swap it. And now let's start painting those uh, steam. So I've got my D-liner brush. And it's a really nice and fine brush. I just get it ready. I have been working in the gel with it. So it's best to swap the brushes like I personally usually I prefer a different brush for the acrylic paints and different brush for the gel. Now the steam, I'm mixing brown with black because I don't want it to be overly too pigmented. And now we are going to draw a beautiful steam. I want these flowers to be a little bit twisted and then another steam just coming out to the other side A 
after we have painted the stems i'm just going to quickly clean the brush and we can move into the one stroke flowers so for the bigger petals i'm going to use um, this brush and we are going to go into the blue so that's the one stroke brush uh, one stroke brush level one don't want the colors to be overly too defined i want them to be really kind of almost mixed together that's why i'm doing a couple of times so i don't want pure white at the end and now i'm going to paint the first petals which are on the back so kind of straight brush touch 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 then another petal. It's more of the touches than anything else. And then here on the side, we are going to have another one. Look how beautiful the colors are blending together. You can even go over the steam. That's not a big problem. And clean up the brush and swap into the smaller one. So now we are going to paint much smaller petals. So I'm dipping it in the white, dipping it in the dark blue. Mix that well. Do again. Mix that, mix that well, and now we are going to paint those tiny, tiny leaf flowers. So just with the touch of the brush. So basically all what you do is just really touching, so look, I just touch. And we're able to create such as beautiful baby buds. And that's what I was always missing, like in my new career, like such a tiny wee brush, which was the work for me. Because most of the brushes, like the ones which I have known, have been pretty large, and this one is just a tiny, tiny wee one. So basically, you're just touching with it to create such a beautiful wee buds. I'm going to pick up my paint again and we're going to paint here to make this uh, flower kind of half open so I'm just adding another very tiny petal first let it dry and then on the top one, I'm just going to make the flower to look like it's open. I honestly love one stroke so much, like it always looks really beautiful. So mix my paint. And with the couple of the touches of the brush, we can create beautiful flowers. So white touch white, straight brush, and then you can press it harder. But you're always kind of starting with the straight brush. Like you don't want to make too big petals. And we have created another beautiful flower. And then with such a small brush, we can also paint the petals inside. And I'm going to show you that in the middle one. So I'm just mixing my paint. And I'm going, oh, let's go a bit darker. And I'm going to paint a small petal inside here as well. Okay. 
clean the brush and now we need to just join that in all together so i'm taking the fine liner brush and taking my green mixed with the turquoise even a drop of white whatever comes into your brush just so it's not flat green that's the main idea about it because you don't want to be flat color Just draw that inside. Also the wee bits and pieces for the bats. Same in here, so the flower doesn't fly. And the one in here. So this way we have kind of connected everything on this steam. Now dip in into the brush. A brush into the black and brown because we need to do some needles of the flowers so this way you can really see they are open and the one in here I will add one more in there. If you're if I have left this brush and I have didn't clean it properly, so I show you the way how to clean it. I think this is pretty important tip. So that's the monomer, just an acrylic monomer, and it's actually best um, quite a good way to clean your acrylic brushes, especially if it dries out and. Um, You've got like a paint which is dry. You can also use a very hot water. I can see how much paint is coming off from this, this brush now. Clean it in a water and then it's ready to paint. But for the one stroke brushes, you always need to keep them nice and flat. So nice and flat for the brushes. I actually quickly cleaned the painting fine liner as well. D liner. Here we are. And the other one as well. So you can see how much paint has came out from this brush. I wouldn't recommend it using like on brush cleaners because they're pretty hard hard on the brushes. Okay, and then I'm just flattening it up. But I need to make sure it's um, clean out of the monomer just so it doesn't um, affect the way you're painting as well. But anyway, let's add a little one more flower here. So I need to remove the excess of the water from my brush. You don't want too much water, especially on the beginning when you're painting with the acrylic paints. Maybe later on, yes, you could add a little bit more water once you start feeling that your paints are getting dry. And the reason why I prefer the paints over the gel is that I don't have to flash cure it. And usually I'm working on so many different layers on the flowers um, that this is going to be just too time consuming for me. Okay, so here is going to be another flower. In that brush, swap, dry out. So also you can see it by mixing like how big petals I can create with the large brush and how small petals I can create with the other brush.
that's is much prettier. So this brown black with the needle is going to darken the steam a little bit. And the way leaf. That's the veins inside the leaf. And now just a white color to give it a couple of the dots. I think those dots always change the look of the needle of the flower. I just want to prolong that leaf so it's cross over maybe. In the brush and we're going to add a little highlight to the flower as well so white and that's the reason why I didn't want it to have a pure white because if I would have a pure white then I wouldn't be able to outline it they, they wouldn't be a difference and now I've got three colors I've got dark blue I've got medium blue and I've got also white Don't outline heavily, like just some places. Like here, I've got a wee twist on my petals, so. So just outline some. And for outlining, you need to really lots of water on your brush, just so it looks good and it's nice and thin. Okay, after this part, I'm happy and I can apply the top coat. And I love with the one stroke, once we apply the top coat, like how the design pops in. can see it how much nicer it is and the sweet sparkle I think it's just having a cuteness to this design do you want to see one more <laughs> well, that's the finished look I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial if you did and you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button as there is lots of different tutorials coming up thanks guys bye Thank you.